Hello students. Today I am going to share with you the summary of the story, the overcoat. The story overcoat written by Nikolai Gogol. Nikolai Gogol is the writer of the story, the overcoat. So in the story, the main character name is Akaki Akakiewicz. So Akaki Akakiewicz is the main character, the central character of the story, the overcoat. So it is the story of an overcoat. So the central character is Akaki Akakiewicz. So if you are looking at the physical appearance of Akaki Akakiewicz, uh, he was a middle-aged person with a short height, not that much tall, short height, and a uh, bald-headed, uh, red-haired, a uh, reddish-brown skin, uh, like that one middle-aged person Akaki Akakiewicz was. That was his physical appearance, and. He was worked as a copywriter in a government office in St. Petersburg, Russia. So this St. Petersburg is the capital city of Russia. So this story was uh, happened over there, St. Petersburg, Russia. So this Akaki was worked as a copywriter in a government office, St. Petersburg, Russia. So if we are looking um, to his attitude of work, he was a very dedicated work-holding person. That means he loved his work. His work was copywriting and he loved his work very much. That means if he reached the office, he will not do any other things. He will not go for any other work or any other time pass. He will just sit on his seat and wait for his copywriting purpose and if anyone passed with him the paper, the document, he won't look at him who passed it and uh, if that person had a uh, right to give the paper to him or not, he will not give, that, that is not his part, he just take that paper and start to copy in the document, that only he will do, that much dedicated he was and uh, he was well experienced also, so in his work he never made any mistake also. That means he loved his work very much. Okay, so that was his attitude to his work. So after finish his work, he went to home and just take his simple food like the cabbage soup or something, and just very fast he will finish that and he will just start to work again at home also uh, that pending works he will do at home also so that was his attitude his work so this attitude some of the young officials not like okay the young officials means uh, the same office there were some other uh, workers also there right they never liked Akaki because of his attitude okay so sometimes they started to disturb him also in between his work disturb means uh, sometimes they uh, throw the paper bits on his head and uh, they will disturb him uh, in between his copying so uh, Akage never fight against with them and if it is too much it is unbearable only sometimes he will just ask simply like this leave me alone why you want to disturb me and I am not coming to you any yeah, for any any reason, right? Then why you want to disturb me? Like that simply he will ask for it. Okay, that means uh, this Akaki is not a uh, angry person. He was very calm and quiet and a polite gentleman, right? So this Akaki's physical appearance and his attitude to the work and his character, the nature also we know now, right? So. This Akaki is a low level worker over there. That means he is not getting that much good salary from that office because he is a low rank, uh, um, this copywriter. Okay, that means around 400 rubles. This rubles is the currency uh, of St. Petersburg, Russia. So he is getting just around 400 rubles in a year. Okay, that means. Uh, in a month around 30 or 33 rubles only his salary that is a very very low salary and he is just leading a simple life only with this salary also 
that means um, he is always thinking about his work only, the coping work. Okay, when he uh, go to the bed also, he will think about the next day what we are, uh, what I am going to get from the office for coping, and he is just bringing that and uh, going to the bed. That much he was dedicated to his work. So he is just thinking about the work only always. That's why he is not aware about uh, his uh, dressing also. So he used to uh, wear the simple dress or dirty dress only to the office also. So that's why these other officials uh, make some jokes against him also with his dressing style also. So I told you the story is in St. Petersburg. His St. Petersburg, Russia, the winter season is little uh, unbearable. That means uh, too cold over there in the winter season. So without a good jacket or without a uh, good uh, woolen cloth, it is difficult to survive the severe cold. So the Sakagi don't have that much good uh, cloth or uh, overcoat or jacket or anything. He is using the same thing and every year if any damage is over there he will go to the trailer to repair it and using the same one only. So this thing also these officials used to make fun. So one day he decided to uh, repair his overcoat because it is too much worn down that's why he decided to uh, repair his overcoat. That's why he went to the tailor. So the tailor name was Petrovich. So Petrovich. So this is the second character of our story, the overcoat. Okay. The first one was our main character Akaki Akakiewicz, and the second character name is Petrovich. So he, he was a tailor over there. Okay. And this Petrovich was a, an expert tailor, and um, usually he is using to. Uh, this maintenance so that means the repair work of the overcoat or this type of trousers for the officials that means he is not doing any new overcoat stitching he is always busy with this this type of mending cloth mending means repairing the overcoat or this type of trousers or something so this Akagi went to Petrovich for repairing his uh, old overcoat then uh, this Petrovich looked at his overcoat and uh, replied him sorry it is difficult to repair because it is too much too many times we repaired already and it is worn out too much so that's why it is too old so we cannot repair it anymore so it's better to buy a new overcoat so when this Petrovich told Akaki about the new overcoat when he heard about the word new this Akaki became too much sad he was stunned what is the reason? Because we you know Akaki is not a rich person, right? And he don't have that much money with him also. He doesn't have the money with him also. So that's why when he heard about the word new, he became too much surprised. Not surprised, he would became too much stunned. Okay. Disappointed. Okay. And he requested uh, Petrovich, anyway, you please repair it. So because I don't have that much money with me. So he said, no, no, if you are repairing this one, it is just a waste of time and money only. So that, that's why I told you, buy a new one. Then this Akaki asked him, how much will be the cost of a new overcoat? Then Petrovich told him, uh, it's around 150 rubles. So rubles is the currency, and that's in Petersburg, okay? So it will be around 150 rubles. So we know already, he is getting just around 30 or 33 rubles in a month right 400 in a year that's why 30 or 30, 33 rubles in a month only and for for him it's a very huge amount right this 150 rubles he cannot afford it so that's why he told him no i don't have that much money with me so anyhow you just please repair it for me so that's why i can use it for few months also no no petrovich refused his request and he suggested him, okay, if you don't have that much money with you, I will give you an advice that, that means uh, a suggestion I will give you, you can buy a new cloth for the overcoat and if you are buying that new cloth, it will cost around 80 rubles only and I can stitch a new overcoat for you with that new cloth, okay, then it will be uh, that much uh, 80 rubles only you need to spend for that. Okay.
okay so actually this ad roberts is also not with akaki because he is just living with his small salary and this salary is just enough for his daily living only he is just leading a simple life for that money only this one he can use this 33 roberts so this 80 roberts is also a huge amount for him but anyhow he want to buy a new overcoat that's why he just decided he, he just told to petrovich okay so that one is the only option i can choose not the first one the first one is the new overcoat and the second option is the buy the new cloth for 80 rubles and petrovich will stitch for him a new overcoat so he decided to uh, buy the cloth for 80 rubles okay so what is 80 rubles how he can uh, say that was his that was the next question so petrovich went to went back to home and just uh, think about it then he just decided to anyhow i want to say the 80 rubles so that's why he decided to cut in his ordinary expenses ordinary expenses means uh, with his uh, tea and his uh, this food and other things only okay so he decided to reduce his uh, expenses for that he just uh, started to not using the candles at home so uh, we know already right this akaki whenever he came back to the house he will take his uh, cabbage soup so that was his uh, usual uh, dinner but he decided to uh, cut that and he just took one simple tea instead of that cabbage soup and uh, if anything is any urgent work is there for Hopi he was not using the candles at home he just went to the landlady's house beside his room and uh, with that light he started to work and not only that uh, he uh, if he want to go out for the Hopis also he just uh, walk very slowly and very carefully to avoid the uh, wear and tear of his damage of his shoes also and he uh, stopped giving the uh, his clothes to the laundry for washing he just uh, started to uh, did a calm himself the washing of the clothes also and whenever he came by from the office he suddenly removed his the, all the clothes and uh, will hang in one side and use one simple quarterly so this type of ordinary expenses he just try to reduce like this way so and um, uh, like that the days are going over there and in a month one time he used to go to Petrovich's house for for a discussion about his uh, this overcoat cloth the color and from which shop he can buy this type of for this discussion because of his anxiety he just used to go once in a month in Petrovich's house okay so after a few months of this type of curtail of expenses he saved at last 80 rubles okay so when he reached this savings as 80 rubles the next day he went to Petrovich's house and with Petrovich they together went to the shop and they bought a new overcoat cloth okay uh, a nice color new overcoat cloth because Petrovich uh, was that much experienced tailor right he can choose the uh, good cloth for him so they bought one and this Petrovich started to uh, stitch that uh, overcoat for him and it took around two weeks two whole week he took for making the new overcoat for Akaki so after finish this overcoat stitching the next day morning Petrovich went to Akaki's house that time Akaki was getting ready to the office so this Petrovich uh, when Akaki saw Petrovich he began to much happy and this uh, Petrovich uh, hand over his overcoat to him and uh, he just started to wear that overcoat and Petrovich also helped him to wear that overcoat by as that uh, folding the sleeves and other things that was looking too good and he used some silk threads and uh, some silver hooks on that uh, overcoat so it looks too good and after wear this new overcoat 
Petrovic and Akaki became too much happy because it was perfectly fit for Akaki. That's why he, they became too much happy. Akaki just paid him 12 rubles for the uh, new overboard stitching cost. So now he spent around 92 rubles. That means 80 rubles for the new cloth and 12 rubles for the stitching cost for Petrovic. And it is not that much uh, big amount because he made it perfect fitting and uh, he used some good um, silk thread and this uh, silver hooks also. So it looks too rich also. Okay. So he just with a very happy mind he just um, given him this 12 rubles as the stitching boss and uh, he just uh, praised him a lot. Okay. So this. Petrovich also became too much proud. He felt too much proud. What is the reason? Because he made a new overcoat and it was perfectly fit for the customer also, right? And he got the uh, got a lot of uh, praises also from the customer, right? That's why up to now he just used to repair the overcoats and trousers only, and now he made a new overcoat, right? That's why. He became too much proud to this Petrovich. Okay. And Akaki went to the office with wear, wearing the new overboard. And uh, behind him, this Petrovich looked at him. He was walking through the road to the office. He was looked at him with a very proud mind because I made a new overboard with a perfect matching and perfect fit. So our story ends here. It's a long story and for us in our chapter, this much only the story. So I hope you all are enjoyed the story and all, you, all of you understood the story also. So we will meet with a new story summary uh, next time. Okay, to that, bye.